Hey, my lovelies, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. I'm having mic problems again, so sorry. However, I have a great recipe to make up for it. On today's segment of Memories of Malta, I'm going to be doing something called a uch bil fool. And what that is, guys, is artichoke with beans. Now, the beans are a young, green, tender um, bean, um, broad bean, to be exact. Now, you can use limas if you like, but here in Malta, um, broad beans are very, very popular and they're in season right now. So guys, without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to make this really beautiful, refreshing dinner. Stay tuned. <laughs> guys, what I have here are some baby broad beans. Now today I'm using the frozen variety. They're picked fresh, flash frozen. There's nothing wrong with them. Now they are in season here in Malta. However, I couldn't find um, enough <laughs> for what I wanted. So the frozen will do. Guys, I've cooked with fresh broad beans before and I shall put the link below. So I'm just gonna put these in a pot as you can see just a little bit of water and I'm going to let them hang out for now until I need them. In the meantime, I'll prep everything else. Hey guys, so what I have here is the next step. Now I have some artichoke hearts. They are whole artichoke hearts. They are from a can and they're just in water and I've drained and rinsed these. Okay, now you can use fresh um, I've done a couple of videos with fresh artichokes. If you want to see that, I will post the links below. Um, however, the star of the show is really the beans here, and I don't want to fuss too long with artichokes. And these were available. I also have a purple onion. Um, if you like, you can use shallots. I have some bay leaves over here, and a lemon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up the onion very finely. I will slice the artichokes, I'll show you, and the lemon, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm chopping up my onion or the shallots um, quite finely. If you can um, find the shallots in oil, the olive oil, that would be quite nice in this as well. You can make your own, really. So I'm just gonna very finely dice these. And I'm gonna set those aside over here. Then with the artichoke, what I wanna do is just cut it down the center, like so. And then, again, so basically in quarters, okay? With the lemon, you're just gonna need a couple of slices or so. Maybe three or four thin slices, like so. And what I'll do now is I'll just continue with the rest of my um, artichokes or uh, watch and I'll bring you back and show you what I do from there. Hey guys, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've thrown everything into my well used and loved casserole dish. So we have the artichokes, we have the onion or shallot if you're using them, the bay leaves. And what I'm going to do now is I'm also going to throw in some very um, thinly sliced garlic which I forgot to mention but garlic does go in here we love garlic in Malta and then some freshly ground black pepper which I'm going to be quite generous with the pepper because don't forget we still have our fool to go in here And then some sea salt. A little bit easy, you can always add later when you taste. 
Right, and then what I'm gonna do is just gonna bring a little bit of water. Maybe go halfway up. And then um, some olive oil will be drizzled on top. If you're using the shallots in olive oil, then you don't obviously need to add as much. Still add some though. Right, and then that's all that's left to do is to place our lemons on top. Like so. And what I've gone ahead and done, guys, is I've cut a piece of parchment paper to fit the size of my casserole dish which is just going to go on top, like so. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to pop this in the oven on 200 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. I'm going to check on it. What we want is the lemons to start getting some color. You want those onions to be soft and you want the garlic to get nice and roasted and beautiful and soft. And then I'll bring you back and show you what I do next. So guys, while our artichoke um, onions and the lemon, garlic are in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling our beans. Now we just want to bring these up to a boil and stop the cooking. Um, they're young, they're fresh, you don't need to cook them way too long. In the meantime, I'm also gonna turn on my grill pan. And what I have here is um, Salset Malti, um, or Maltese sausage. Um, these are beautiful sausages. Um, there's fennel and all sorts of spices in here. Now guys, if you like with this recipe, this is optional. You can just serve the beans and the artichoke and that's your meal or as a side or you can also pan sear or pan fry fish of your choice um obviously a maltese uh, water fish waters fish would be lovely but um i'm going to serve these with maltese sausage tonight so i'm going to put them in my oven or in my uh, grill pan it's not quite hot yet but um, they'll come to temperature and they'll cook. So, artichokes in the oven, beans are starting to cook, and we have our salted maltia getting ready to be grilled. Hey guys, so the Maltese sausage is coming along quite nicely. Um, now when it comes to the Maltese sausage, some people like to boil it first. Um, it's up to you, it really is. If you can't find Maltese sausage, you probably can't unless you are in Malta or if you have an import Maltese store, um, you can use your favorite sausage or a Sicilian sausage or like I said, a nice white meaty fish um, would suffice. Over here are fresh green beans, our full or broad beans are pretty much done. I've tasted them and they're tender, they're not mushy, they're lovely. Over here, guys, we have our artichokes out. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is remove the lemons and any of the bay leaves that you can see. Mine were quite small, but if you guys have bigger ones, you'll be able to remove them easier. 
I mean, it's not a big deal. Just make sure that you and your guests know not to eat them. They're not palatable, they're not pleasant. Right, so we have this done and nice and hot. Now, the last minute, guys, what I have here are some marrow fat peas. Um, they're quite larger than regular peas. If you can't find these, just use regular sweet peas, fresh or frozen. And all we're going to do is heat them very quickly in with the beans. Just for seconds. And then I'll be back and we'll pull everything together. All right guys, the artichoke and the onions and garlic and the lemons are out of the oven. They look fantastic. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and add our beans and the marrow fat peas that we just put in. Everything should be cooked perfectly now. So I'm gonna add that in. using a slotted spoon and like I said guys the star of the show really is the beans so that's why there's quite a bit of them and you can see how lovely and fresh the artichokes have a lovely lovely uh, lemony flavor and scent garlicky just absolutely beautiful So, that's all in. What you want to do is just give it a gentle toss. And guys, I'll be right back and we'll plate up. Guys, that looks so beautiful. The aromas in here smell incredible. So, what I'm going to do now is um, place some of my sausage and like I said guys you can use fish if you prefer it's up to you we got some sausage on there now we're gonna do a little squeeze of lemon juice lovely Garnish with a little bit of lemon. And some fresh parsley. Let it fall on there. Guys, this is the Mediterranean. If there is anything, honestly, this is so good. Try this recipe. It's dead easy. You'll love it. Like I said, you can use fish if you don't like sausage, or you can just leave the meat out all together. There'll be a few picks to follow. Guys, thank you so much for watching Memories of Malta here on the Euro Cooking Canuck. Um, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't, if you like. And my YouTube page will be, or sorry, my Facebook page, rather, will be below. And we'll see you next time. Ciao, grazie, hafna. Ciao, ciao.